What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new series on my channel uh, featuring Phantom Doctrine. That's a new game that has been released about a week ago uh, made by... Oh god, Creative Forge and Good Shepherd Entertainment. There you go. Um, they are the makers of Hard West. For those of you who might know, it's a game that is very similar in to XCOM, uh, another game that I've featured on this channel, uh, where you know you have the the tactical round-based combat, um, and yeah, you kind of organize your your squad in, uh, on a map, and uh, you take cover, you take shots, and all these kinds of things. Um, and the the game, both Hard West as well as Phantom Doctrine here, are similar to XCOM because they have a similar style of fighting. But, especially this game is very different because it's less about actual fighting and killing all the enemies and more about infiltration. And you'll see that once we actually get into the game. I don't really want to talk too much more about this because, uh, well, I don't actually know that much more about it. I haven't played the game yet. I have had it lying around for a week, but I didn't really get to play it, unfortunately. I was um, actually given uh, the code by my... Um, by my partners over at Games Planet. So if you do end up liking this game, I definitely recommend you guys check out the link I've left in the description because uh, there you can get the game for even cheaper than it is on, on Steam, for example. And uh, if you do purchase the game through that link, you'll also help me. Uh, so that would be highly appreciated. But yeah, without further ado, let's actually get into the game right now. Let's start a new game. And uh, yeah, as I said, I have no idea what is going to happen. Okay, we can pick a mode and difficulty apparently. Uh, I think we're just gonna go with the regular mode. Standard, yeah, sure. Um, difficulty, we're gonna go with medium just because, you know, uh, tutorial would be fine. Iron Man mode is not necessary. Subtitles, um, you know what? I'm gonna leave them on because there's a possibility that I will be talking over them. So that's always a little bit easier to uh, just kind of grasp the story for you as well. So yeah, I think this is fine. And I might have to... Uh, you know what? Let's go back for a second. I do need to change the music. I have changed the audio a little bit, but I still find it a bit too loud. Maybe actually just the audio in general is a bit too loud. Alright. I think that's better. I, I just don't know. To me, it just feels very loud. Anyway, now let's start a new game. Uh, medium, as I said, and the rest is fine. Okay, so... Right, so as I said, this is uh, sort of XCOM meets World War II, at least that's how, it's, how the game has been presented to me. And as I said, it's, it's different because it is it involves infiltration, because you're actually not playing a squad that defends the planet against aliens, but rather you're either playing as the CIA or the KGB, uh, obviously the Russian uh, and US intelligence agencies and um, so yeah we can pick a name and first of all we can pick an agency so okay mm, code name deadpan as elite CIA wet work commando unravel a conspiracy set in the middle of war-torn Beirut and beyond code name Kodiak hunt traitors of the motherland is a highly decorated KGB counterintelligence operative all right um poof. CIA, KGB. You know what? Honestly, I kind of want to go with the KGB, and uh, I'm going to be Vladimir Putin. That's not very creative, to be honest. Does it even, is there even anybody that looks like him? I don't think so. None of, him, none of these people look like him. Maybe this guy. Well, not really. It doesn't really look like Vladimir Putin. But he was he was a member of the KGB, right? I remember that correctly. Um hmm. Maybe this guy. Certainly not a black dude. That doesn't just that just doesn't really fit Russians. I, I've never heard of a Russian of a black Russian. Never never seen that. Never seen that. Wow, this guy looks cool with the eye patch. Hmm. But then again, we wanna be good at infiltrating, right? So, we don't want to be, like, we don't want to be too, uh, conspicuous, right? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> really, am I going to go with Vladimir Putin? I probably should have 
thought about that a little bit, but you know what? Let's just go with it. I, I don't know. Actually, we can also pick a female. Interesting. Huh. That would be cool. You know what? That would be cool, too. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I, I might actually play as a female here. Um... That could be interesting as well. So we just gotta find a uh, pretty portrait. This one maybe. I mean, not like a female. Matters. She looks more like a CIA agent, so that's that doesn't really work. I wonder if you can be a double agent as well. You wanna look Asian though? None of these look super Russian. This one with the scar. You look like you're about to cry. That's okay. Mm. I'm gonna go with this uh, this one. Sofia Ivano Ivanov. Sofia Ivanov. Yeah, there you go. I think that's better than Vladimir Putin. Okay, so there you go. Let's create that. Um Ah, interesting. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, I wasn't 100% sure if that was possible, but apparently we get to create uh, our characters uh, in, in full. Um, and I believe, since we're also going to have a squad, that means we're also going to be able to customize our squad. So that means that uh, just like in XCOM, I'm going to be taking viewer suggestions. Obviously, if you're a Patreon, then you can just let me know what you want to what you want your character to look like and I will definitely put you in there if you're not a patron uh, I might still put your character in there if you leave a suggestion in the comments but that is not guaranteed um, okay now uh, face preset Donna mm, I kind of want to make us look like our picture is that is that possible okay they automatically zoom they don't Kate Anna. Oh, they have all names. Betty. Betty White. Clara. She looks more Asian. Donna. I think I'm going to go with Clara here. And uh, skin color. Seems fine. Uh, I just want to look like the portrait, to be honest. And body type. Average. Slim. Stocky. Average. Uh, I think this fits more than here. Ponytail. What do we have? Um, I think this is pretty good already. Well, that doesn't work. Looks like a grandma now. Fringe. <laughs> Those are pretty good styles. But I think um, straight, parted, blowout, feathered hair. Damn. Um, holy shit. Okay, but uh, razor cut, you know, curly, bald, pixie, bun. Is that is that the look that we have? I think that maybe. Volume, ponytail. Uh, probably. That's probably her look, I think. So we're going to go with that. And the color should be black. Uh, that is black? Okay. Doesn't really look black, but okay. I'll, I'll take it. Um, so that's the here. Next. What if I click next? Oh, we get to clothe. Okay, cool. Pilot jacket. Um, windbreak and scarf. I kind of want these suspenders. I think this look like the spenders. Um, suspenders, no. Is it, is it suspenders? I don't know. But let's see if we can find that. That would be cool. But it doesn't seem to be the case. This looks kind of awesome. I'm not really sure what kind of look we're going for here. I'm gonna go with the vest and then legs. Mm -hmm. Chinos, cargo pants, office skirt. Well, actually, we could make a, a real office woman. Blazer and shirt. Formal jacket. That could kind of work. Motorcycle fingerless. Yeah, no, that doesn't really fit. I think we have no gloves. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's fine. And then shoes, loafers, derbies. I think this fits. Just kind of gray. It doesn't really look all that spectacular, does it? Let me see. If there's anything better we can go with. 
That looks a little more stylish. You know what? Let's actually go with this. And let's not have a skirt. I think it's skirt. Some pants. Uh, yeah, maybe this one is better. Maybe this, this skirt is a little bit better. The colors don't really fit, though. This is important, people. And obviously, if you don't like character creation, you can always skip. But, um... I think this is really important. Black jacket. Scarf. That looks kind of awesome, I think. And then... Gloves. Tactical fingerless. Sure, why not? And let's see what other shoes we've got. Maybe something mm, kind of... Boots, that's kind of nice. Chelsea's. Heavy boots. Tactical boots. I'm gonna go with black here as well. Well, that's not really black. This is as black as it's gonna go. Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's let's roll with this. I'm spending too much time on this anyways. Okay, we can also go for a headgear. She does have something. Not really a hat. Ah, uh, and a hood. She does have kind of a bandana, but it doesn't look the same. Hat. Bonnie. This, maybe. But, that makes her... Like, her hair is... Dude, it just looks completely different. Uh, hijab. Wow, okay. Uh, whoa, okay, yeah, we're not gonna go with that. Thank you. Um, I wear... Glasses. An eye patch. Okay, so we can still go for all kinds of things. Yeah, I think with no none of this attachments. Ah, oh, she does have earrings. Maybe if we can find small ones. Don't know what they're called. You know what we're gonna go with those. Those are not the right ones, but it, it looks it looks good enough, I think. Okay, next. And details. Scars. No tattoos and makeup. Let's let's see what, what what we have here. Wow, that looks cool. Damn, I like this one. Bicycle collision, tiger scratch. Damn, looks amazing. But you know what? Having scars in the face like this is not good for a spy because you're easily recognizable. Um, so you really don't want that. Um, so we're not gonna go with this. The tattoos and makeup. Uh, this could kind of fit. Glamour. Contrast. A bit over the top, some of these. I mean, I have no clue. Some of these don't really seem to change anything. Oh, those are tattoos, I see. Yeah, you know, same with the scars. Tattoo is just not that smart if you are a spy. Because you know, just so easily recognizable. I'm actually gonna go with this one just because she has these kind of uh, I don't know what what it's called, but she has it. So there you go. All right. Um, I think we I think we're good to go. Um, um, even though you know, honestly, I don't like it that much. This looks better. All right. Let's uh, let's actually start the game. Whew. Yeah. Character creation always takes some time. But yeah, the events you're about to see may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records have been marked with the specific date they occurred on. Verify your own risk, but trust no one. Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Sto? Akazati Rashifrovko. Abistri. Nimedlina Maslach Maskmu. Nimedlina. Ah, that's cool. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Langley seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. 
First the British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. Traitors! Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. Okay, I honestly have no clue what's going on, but apparently there's the tutorial operation threshold. Um, high value cargo hijacked by the British agent Kingfish to redeploy in the UK, run recovery ops, phase one, enter British sector in FRG, I don't know what that means, collect necessary forms from secured location, activate sleeper acid, rook. Uh, further orders to be disclosed in due course handler is Valhalla. We've heard about Valhalla. I have no clue who's that, who's Iceberg. Uh, no idea. But yeah, our primary objective is reach the sleeper agent and activate his control phrase. Steal shipping manifests. Evacuate on the other side of the border. Okay. Um, and apparently we're in East Berlin. Okay. Uh, sure. Now, okay, I said originally that this game was presented to me as XCOM meets World War II, but it seems to be more like the Cold War era. Yeah. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF gig. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Iceberg Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere bitte. Oh, German. That's so cool. DDR, that's actually German Democratic Republic. So it is definitely Cold War. Locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with him? Who could forget that handsome face? Okay, in the infiltration stage. Okay, so this is what I've uh, been telling you about. This is the tactical stage. It does look very similar to the, the one we, we know from XCOM, um, but we are now in infiltration stage. So I believe uh, guards will only react if we do something suspicious. Move to the indicated position with right mouse and button to save the now. Okay, but that is two. So there's a guard, apparently. And we're now Kingfish. We see a guard here. There's one over here. Okay, interesting. Okay. How, how large is the map? Okay, we're right at the corner here. Okay, okay, steel shipping manifest. Well, for now, let's move over here, as the tutorial says. Yeah, not, not suspicious at all. <laughs> He's asking for customs, that's kind of funny. Most actions cost action points. Some actions can also cost fire points. Fan of Doctrine is a turn-based game, so when all your agents' points are depleted, end your turn, uh, of course, yeah. And I think we have... Uh, movement uses up action points end the turn. Yeah, okay, so we've moved twice and let's end it. So, yeah, this is one interesting part. There is no um, be extra careful when entering a restricted area. If the guard sees you, he'll call the alarm. Interesting. Okay, well, we're supposed to move over here, but one thing I want to mention is that uh, in XCOM, you have kind of the fog of war, which is not the case in Phantom Doctrine. You actually see all enemy movements at all times, at least I believe. Um, and I guess the explanation behind this, it's a, it's a bit weird and, and difficult to um, to get used to, I think. Uh, it's just strange. Um, and I wasn't, I'm not sure if I like it yet, but I think the explanation is that, you know, you have intel on them because, you know, you're 
uh, you're an agent, uh, and and so you basically you know their routes and all these kinds of things. And uh, uh, so right now, especially like nobody suspects anything, so we can just walk around. Even though, to be really honest, if you go here, right next to um, fence, that is already suspicious. Skip the rest of the turn, and the guard will continue his patrol. Ah, okay, so we can move over, and we see that patrol path. So yeah, and I, I assume this is simply because, you know, we're, we're part of the intelligence agency, and so we already kind of, you know, we've been studying them already, so we kind of know their paths, and that's why we see them. That's uh, my explanation anyways. Okay, end the turn. And he's Who now going to move. Agent Kodiak your file spoke about? Some KGB overachiever. I have no idea where they're digging up those zealots. Poverty digs them up for them. Okay, so we can now move in here somehow. We're trespassing. Avoid cameras, they will trigger the alarm if you cross their cone of vision. Cameras can be disabled if you find a CCTV central unit, which apparently this is. We've already moved once, and this... Ah, okay, so this is their range of vision. Um, okay, that's very cool. We actually get to learn about this, but we can get around this by going here. That's convenient. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. Thank you. I can handle myself. Awesome. So yeah, you see the different style. We're actually taking out these things without actually killing any, yeah. any guards yet, anyways. Okay, so we can now enter the main building. I'm not sure why we're supposed to go here. I'm just going to do it. I would have got, you know, gone up here. But, so this is interesting. Are we not... Is this not suspicious? Found our puppet. Give him the control phrase. Enemy agent located. This one is our sleeper agent. Use control phrase from the abilities menu. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we actually have a weapons down here. I, I didn't even see the menu down here. That's interesting. Um, and this is our sleeper agent. Okay. Um, control phrase takes control over an enemy agent subject to, to control phrase agent rook uh, Fire points and cooldown. Okay, let's confirm this Okay, apparently oh is this some kind of mind control that's odd So I'm I'm not entirely sure what a sleeper agent is are those the people that are conditioned to to act in a certain way? Because that seems to have been the case, because he was like, Ugh. But yeah, anyways, a sleeper agent is safe to go anywhere. Go up the stairs, use the mouse wheel to change floors, then select the target tile. Okay, so we're supposed to go up? Is that is that it? Yeah. Um, and we now have Rook here. Uh, sure. Then let's... um. Right, we can rotate camera as well. Okay, cool. So he's gonna go up here and... No one's gonna bat an eye. I assume. Guards can be taken down silently, provided their HP is lower than that of the attacker. So we can use our abilities again. Uh, West German Customs. Silently incapacitates the target whose HP is lower than that of the attacking agent. Non-lethal against civilians. <clears throat> Awareness 50. Now, I'm not quite sure what awareness does, but I'm just going to do it, obviously. What else do we have? Pick up agent, stabilize, focus. Interesting. But yeah, we'll take him down for now. <coughs> Boom. Okay, all characters have a certain level of awareness. It is used by select actions. In combat, awareness allows agents to dodge when shot at, effectively reducing received damage. Awareness regenerates every turn, and it can be raised by abilities and items. Uh, sure. Also, this gave us awareness. Is that correct? I'm unsure. For now, we have to end. We could technically still move. I wonder if we actually have to dispose of the body. That would be kind of cool, but we'll, we'll figure this out. What up? Okay, use spotter to support to lift fog of war. So apparently, there is still fog of war. I was wrong. It's just... 
not that much. Uh, reveal enemies and civilians inside the indicated room. Note that support agents operate from a specific direction and must have line of sight to target to the target to be effective. Okay, so we can contact our support. Tactical spotter reveals fog of war within the select area and makes it harder for enemies and radius to dodge incoming bullets. Okay, ah, I see. So we get a bit of a. I mean, we already know that there is a rule. We already know a few things about this. Confirm. Oh, nice. We located the documents, but we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry. I'll clean the mess after you. Place your agents at the door to prepare for a breach attack. Okay, so they don't know that we're here yet. Yeah. And then Kingfish. We need to probably move up as well. Right, okay, so we're gonna come in from two doors. Now, this is pretty cool. I've seen this in the trailer, actually. Um, I think there's a chance for a double attack, which is pretty cool. Uh, select the breach ability. Um, select the marked room for attack and confirm. Uh, breach confirms the damage bonus, making it extra deadly. So this is really cool because... You're gonna see something amazing happen right now if this is what I expect it to be. But yeah, so let's go with breach. And nearby agents move into the designated area and shoot any encountered hostiles. Suppresses enemy overwatch. Requires at least two agents with firing capacity. Right mouse button on enemies to lock targets. Uh Uh, this target? Mmm, okay. Wait, right mouse button on enemies. Uh, I don't know if that... Yeah, okay, you saw what I meant. So I'm not sure if I did it correct. Apparently I did. Uh, but yeah, so the cool thing is they move in. Two of our agents move in simultaneously and just take them out. That's so cool. And there's an awesome map as well. Uh, unfortunately, I can't zoom in, but that's really cool. Note that using non-suppressed weapons always triggers the alarm and starts combat. Okay, so I think that's what's happening right now. Let's raise the alarm. Alarm raised. Unsuppressed gun has been fired. Okay. So now it's going to be more like regular XCOM because... We're gonna have to be doing some fighting. Grab documents from the safe, which is over here. So who's gonna do that? You? Wait, how do you move? Ah, there you go. Okay. Call the evac. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Copy. Over and out. Oh, of course. And there's no helicopter. It's gonna be a car. Uh, summon evac vehicle. Uh, rounds until evac arrives. Two rounds. Evac inbound. Okay, so, and now I need to get out of here somehow. Uh, oh, we can actually get out right now. Hmm. So, yeah, the question is... Um... So, we could get down immediately. I guess this will be a good spot. Okay, wait, so how do I move? Oh, have you already moved? Um, Overwatch. Oh, okay, apparently we're, we're supposed to go on Overwatch. How do I do that? How do I confirm? Uh, okay, I'm unsure what to do right now. Oh, I'm supposed to go here? Hold on. Um, what am I supposed to do right now? Ends to turn. Set up overwatch. Okay, well. Ah, there we go. Okay. Move the other agent to the window. So I'm still having to get to... Uh, yeah. 
excited to learn about the uh, Overwatch and, and the whole movement. Set up Overwatch outside. Note that long range Overwatch has conical area of effect. It's supposed to surplus shot range Overwatch. Okay. Uh, so you get to decide where they attack. Is that is that it? Ah, okay, interesting. So, so Overwatch is not just like Overwatch in all directions. It's uh, basically you have to you have to tell them where to look. That's interesting, and that puts an extra you know tactical element into the game. I like that. I actually like that because you have to know where your enemies come from. Okay, so this guy should get shot. Boom. Sniper. Okay, this guy should be should be sniped as well. Oh my god, the blood. Jump out the window and take cover. Cover reduces incoming damage. Yeah, you see, uh, okay. I would have gone down here as well. Uh, for one FP and one AP, you can use the full auto attack, which will suppress the enemy, practically removing their awareness. Uh, and I suppose that's what we're going to do right now. West German customs officer. Oh, that's so sad. All right, damage versus awareness. Uh, Fender has no random chance to hit, but attacks can deal varying amounts of damage. Presented as follows. Okay, targets automatically dodge, provided they aren't at point blank range. Dodging costs awareness. A dodge attack deals minimum damage, else maximum damage. Damage is further reduced by target armor and cover. In infiltration and at the beginning of combat, awareness is always at zero, except for enemy agents who sell with full awareness. Okay. Okay, and then move to the ground and hide behind a full cover. Yeah, that's what I, I would have... Actually, this is half cover. Um... Well, it depends. I mean, this is double full cover, but I would have... I'm probably going to go here. Or is there somewhere else you want me to go? Ah, there you go. Okay. That's what I would have picked. Some weapons are accurate enough to land devastating headshots with cost awareness. Ah, I see. Okay, well, we'll confirm that. The pistol. Boom. Ooh. Cool guys. Wait, where is it now? Was oh, it still coming? Ah, whatever. We're just gonna go to the evac. No problem. Mission objective complete. And you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Ah, interesting. When evac compromised timer elapses, you will incur a danger penalty upon the conclusion of the mission. Not, note, however, that it does not affect mission success or failure. So I assume. Um, what this does, or what this means, is that it will make uh, future missions more difficult because there's chance of you being seen or caught or whatever. Um, but the mission itself is still a success, which is kind of uh, that's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, evacuate now. Let's do that. Confirm. Evacuate all friendly agents. reached the end of the tutorial cool and I suppose it immediately continues with a second mission Ex executive order UA 426 agent Yukon divulged secret information to the Americans his arrest warrant was signed Patriot and accompanied by codes with the highest level of clearance so someone important in Moscow must consider his crimes very serious as an officer of the Space Forces Directorate Yukon will be handled by the local KGB counterintelligence unit, you. And I suppose this is where we'll start with our own character that I've already created, but 
I will, well, you know what? I'm going to have to click continue here because I don't think we're going to be able to get out, but I will try and uh, save the game before, uh, before we actually need to do anything. Two months later. Почему ты его просто не арестуешь? Хочу увидеть, кто еще появится. Наверное, Гэро уже на месте. Про волка речь. Что случилось? Милиционеры только что вбежали в здание. Не могу больше говорить. That's our character now. Cool. Не думаю, что эти менты здесь официально. Я тоже. Подготовьтесь к стрельбе. Постараемся не оставлять без порядка. Слишком много бумаг. All right. Well, um, I'm gonna see if I can pause the game here, save it. Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, new save. Awesome. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. For now, uh, that was the first episode, and then next. Oh no 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 no! Whoopsie. Well, that was bad. Um, okay, I think since I saved, that shouldn't really be a problem. But yeah, um, next time we'll continue here with the rest of Yukon. That was the first episode of Phantom Doctor. And I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far, and that you're excited for uh, the series to continue. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you think of it so far. Anyways, that was it for this episode. I will see you guys next time.